Here we go. Starting in three, two, I'm doing this, I'm gonna do it right. Alright, let's try this again. Lost everything I just did anyway. And I should have gone further. It was before I start climbing. Okay. 
up here. How are you doing today, bud? seconds off of my gold split here. Oh, dude, did you see the uh, all the new deck snap stuff that's coming out for Alpha Sapphire speedrun? I'm sorry, the gut swallow idea for a speedrun has got to be the coolest thing to happen to Pokemon speedrunning in forever. I run poison and using that to boost your attack, so... I don't know if it'll end up being faster than the old the route with Mudkip. And I guess Zangoose is being incorporated into that now. But... Oh, wow. Oh, you haven't? Uh, E-Cast rooted it where he gets a... Uh, Taylor with guts, and then he gets poisoned at one point, and he just does the entire run while poisoned. I just think it's such a cool idea. And then Biscuit was working earlier today on using uh, Zangoose in the middle of the run instead of uh, Marsh Tomp because uh, Zangoose has Sword Stance, Strength, and Revenge, which is a really good set of moves for. Uh, the middle of the game until you get to Latios. But yeah, Gut Swallow is just whole... It's just such a like cool idea that... Like, even if it isn't faster, I'd rather run that than anything else. Because I think... Um, like, there's just so much you can, you can theoretically do with that. You know, like, oh, do I try to get poisoned off of a Wormhole at the very start of the game and then carry that the entire way through? Um, I don't think it matters that much. I think both Brave Bird and Boom Burst are useful. Um, but he had Brave Bird on the one that, or Ecaps had Brave Bird on the one he did his test run with, 
And the cool thing about that was he suicided against um, Wallace's last poke, which saved him level. It was like, that was like the best strat ever. I just suicide against with the last thing it fights with Brave Bird, and then all of a sudden I let uh, Kyogre take over. But I don't get any level up tech because my, my poke goes down too. I'm like, wow, that's really legit. But yeah, it, it, the one he did his first run with it had Brave Bird as the egg move. But Boom Burst would be useful against Winona's Altaria. So they don't think it really matters that much. Although I don't really know much about Boom Burst other than that's a dragon move, so. Maybe. But yeah, it's it's worth checking out just because of how ridiculous the strat is. It's just get poison. And then to beat the entire game while poisoned if the po if you ever faint, the run is basically over then because you're no longer poisoned. And you lose Halo's only real advantage. Which is you can get Facade, a Silk Scarf, and uh, Guts all on the same pose. So, it's also funny because of how the credits in uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire work, where um, it remembers what pokes did specific things like beating gym leaders. So you used to have a Halo. Um, beating everything. Really? I thought you liked, uh... Oh, because you have Omega Ruby now. I was gonna say, I'm like, uh... From what I understand, Groudon and Kyogre are about the same. The only difference is gonna end up being if Latios is, is faster, then you're kind of screwed. And Latios does appear to be faster, which is why Omega Ruby is currently considered to be the better choice. It's also a bit safer from what I understand. But... You just don't. You buy a second copy of Omega Ruby for speedrunning, and you just don't buy Alpha Sapphire at all. If you if you can wait. Or you find somebody online that's willing to trade for it. Yeah, my, my Pokemon Y is digital, my Alpha Sapphire and uh, Pokemon X are physical. Oh, that was dumb. That was really dumb. Good recovery from being stupid. Oh, that's what happened. Damn. That's brutal. Oh, 
Nothing. Um, if you want, when I complete a run of Black 2 World Tournament, I can trade you the Latte if I get from that. That'll be a perfect, uh... Oh, you can't use, uh... What's it called, I guess, can you? How's it going, Colson? <laughs> Tiny competitive Latvia. Damn. Yeah, I was gonna say that's probably what it's got to be. Then is that VGC 15 doesn't allow it. Um. Solid veneer. Good up, 
Yeah, I get to have, I'm gonna have to have fun learning all the RNG map stuff for Gen 5. That's the wrong way to go there. Do that. Really not looking forward to that. Although, supposedly RNG map in Gen 5 is relatively consistent, so... Not like Gen 4, where it's just, like... You go at it for hours and never get it. And you'll get it like six times in a row in Gen 4, too. I swear, Gen 4 comes in streaks. From what I've seen, of people trying to RNG manipulate that game. Like, it just doesn't work for hours, and then all of a sudden it'll work. Like, something about the way the 3DS clock works seems to make it work better in streaks. Wow, I'm not gonna beat my, uh... Gold split for this. That's actually surprising because I thought that was really good. Okay. Here comes the part I can't deal with. The action. Yeah, isn't Gen 5 basically you don't have the frame perfect aspect? It's just starting on the correct second or something? Like, Gen 4 you have to have, it has to be frame perfect and uh, time specific. I think, I thought Gen 5 was just time specific, so you have to get the right second. Because, like, you can get... I know that you could do a, a uh, run of black with RNG manipulation in a marathon, which is something you could never do. And, uh, say, if you were going to try to get a um, platinum or a, a heart gold run going. That sucks. Okay. Yo, what's up, Nitro? Yeah, I know. I'm actually, trying to be. Don't worry, it's harder on uh, solo than it is with pairs. I've only done this stage like once or twice successfully in solo. I can do it about 60% of the time in pairs. Maybe more now. I've actually gotten really consistent in pairs on this stage. Now it's basically just Axis Mundi is my run killer in pairs. I've had two runs on PB pace going into Axis Mundi and um, both of them uh, just died due to Either poor play or bad RNG. It's hard to tell which sometimes in Axis Mundi. Thank you. 
Garapen. Once I get, um, to about, like, these are all hard. Once I get to level 9 on this, Obelisk becomes very difficult to complete. Uh, I guess for now. What the fuck is this pattern? I didn't want to collapse that, but I didn't have a choice. Okay. Would have been better if I could have. If that would have been a spike block and I'd slid two onto it, it would have killed me. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's just instant death. You don't have time to stand and move. So you have to assume that's a spike block. Which cost me some time there. flatten out, but there's a lot of RNG elements going on right now that can determine change. This this part changes very rapidly with what the landscape is. I have to also be careful to not kill myself on this three block. blocks and stuff in this area, it's very tricky, and I don't have a lot of room for mistakes, especially because after this comes the section with the uh, two separate towers. Fuck it, I gotta go the other way. I can't fight that. mark block can be a spike block, a heavy block, a crack block, an ice block, a monster block, or a normal block. Oh, and in this it can be... No, it can't be. Uh... Don't be cracked. Okay. Not cracked, it's gonna collapse this a little bit. Fuck. 
I can cross, I have to. I can't stay on that side of the tower. Okay, it's going to be just forgiving enough here. Or I'm going to be able to survive this. Never kept me bomb blocks, and a bomb block wouldn't kill me. Amazing how that works. These look like they're getting to be about the same height. It looks like my side is one block taller. But that's actually a very good difference to be. To have. Alright. Good now. Up. Almost out of the uh, split tower section. There's a spring block. Th those can't appear in co op. Worst thing that could have happened right there, actually. Edge. 
nothing. Probably not the smartest move I've done. Okay, I've still got a lot of tower boring, which is good. That gives me some time to think. That wasn't doable with the bomb block anyway. I don't know why I thought that was a dumb thing for a second. I actually could not have done that with the bomb block. I'm gonna do this. I need to collapse this one. It's just one too tall right now. Same thing right here. I need to do this so I can collapse that one. Right here, same thing. I want to collapse this down one because that's one taller than I want it to be. side needs to come down one as well, otherwise it's too tall. This is completable, I win. Or... Well, not necessarily. Accidentally is still stupid hard. Wow. Here we go. Scant. 
Two, one, start. Good upping. Good upping. Final stage of battle has begun. Good upping. Good upping. Good upping. I got a room. Maybe you do check of warding. That I think. Nothing's being held up over there, so let's collapse this down one. Let's climb this side. Pull from the left. Maybe what I want to do. Not what I want to do. I wanted to collapse this left side down one. Like that. Good upping. Good upping. Good upping. Good upping. Okay, what's holding this up? Good upping. Good upping. Good upping. Good upping. That. Really need to collapse that away. Good upping. 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 A black hole like a head. If you get sucked into it, your history. Good upping. Good upping. 30 steps. Interesting that the tower gets narrower as I'm going. I wonder if that's intentional or not, or if I'm doing something to make the tower thinner. Really? Interesting. It's gonna catch... No, it's not. It's gonna catch the one side of this, but... It's not the worst thing in the world. Good 
There isn't. Need to go this way. I'm gonna go 280 some steps like this. The worst thing about this is it's building towers in the back as well. That's really scary. Because if it builds towers behind the, the actual tower you're working on, there's only so far you can actually collapse the tower down. Edge. 
Good update. Good update. Yeah, thanks, Derek's. Much appreciated and very much needed. Much harder on solo than on pair. As in, it's much, much harder. Like your heart, my heart is pounding right now. Because I don't know if I'm ever going to have another deathless round at this point. Or maybe not ever, but... Yeah, most most people, like, when this game first came out and they're like, I can't do this, but I really want the Platinum, people said, just play it in pair. Whether or not you, you have a partner, play it in pairs mode. Um, even on the Japanese version. Like, the difficulty level is not even in the same ballpark, the same league. That's a bad decision. Okay, hold that. Do this. Gotta shimmy around some. the tower now. So I get this back to uh, full tower. I actually need luck. this one. Do I? Yes, I have to collapse this one. I'm gonna collapse it too, actually. Good 
anything. Accelerating. Please stop accelerating. Please Edge. stop accelerating. Please stop accelerating. Edge. Go down thing. Edge. 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 Ed